Hi guys! Today we're going to solve another problem for the application of differential equations in chemical solutions. And this is still a continuation of our board exam refresher for general engineering in differential equation set B. Okay, so let's first read our problem. So a tank contains 200 liters of brine with 20 kilograms of salt in solution. Brine containing 0.25 kg per liter of salt flows into the tank at the rate of 3 liters per minute. And the mixture, kept uniform by steering, flows out at the rate of 2 liters per minute. Determine the time when the concentration of salt becomes 0.15 kg per liter. And here are our choices na pagpipilian para dito sa ating sagot sa ating problem. Okay? So, first, we have to illustrate yung ating problem para mas madali natin siyang masagutan. So, we are told that our tank contains 200 liters of brine with 20 kilogram of salt solution. So, this is our initial condition. Okay? Okay, so we have 200 liters of brine. So, this is our initial condition. So, we have 200 liters of brine. And it contains 20 kg of salt. So we have 20 kg of salt initially dito sa ating tank. A brine containing 0.25 kg per liter of salt flows into the tank. Okay, so meron pumapasok na brine dito sa ating tank. And it has 0.25 kg per liter of salt. So we have 0.25 kg per liter of salt. And it comes in at a rate of 3 liters per minute. So 3 liters per minute yung rate ng ating brine papunta rito sa ating tank. And then we are told as well that our mixture here is kept uniform by steering. So that means kung ano yung concentration natin dito will be the same concentration ng lumalabas dito sa ating tank. And we are told as well that it flows out at the rate of 2 liters per minute. Now, determine the time when the concentration of the salt becomes 0 0.15 kilograms per liter. So, therefore, ang required natin dito is yung time. What is the time required so that our concentration will become 0 0.15? Okay, so sorry, 0 0.15 kilogram per liter. Okay, so 0 0.15 kilogram per liter. Alright, so meron na tayong illustration. So we can start solving our problem. So remember that at time is equal to 0, yung initial condition natin, the amount of salt in our tank is 20 kilogram. No? So our Q at 0 is equal to 20 kilogram. And initially, at time is equal to 0, our volume at 0 is equal to 200 liters. No? So, yan yung given natin. Now, at any time t, so let us write here, at any time t, okay, so ano yung magiging condition natin at any time t? So, in our volume, for example, what will be our volume at any given time t. So, initially, meron tayong 200 liters. Okay? And then, may pumapasok na 3 liters per minute. So, that will be plus because pumapasok siya sa ating tank. So, plus 3 liters per minute. So, it is given as a volumetric flow rate. So, we have to multiply this by time. So, at any given time, if you multiply that by 3, that will be the amount of the brine coming inside our tank. And then we are also told that it is coming out at the rate of 2 liters per minute. So we have to deduct that. So we have minus 2 times time, right? And dahil similar term siya, we can simplify this. We have 200 plus T. So this is our volume at any time T. Now, we also know that the concentration changes with time. No? So our concentration changes also with time. So, ano ba yung concentration natin? We know that concentration is equal to the amount of salt over the total volume. Okay? 
So, hindi natin alam yung Q, hindi rin natin alam yung V. But, we have our equation of our volume at any given time T. So, we have Q over 200 plus T. Sinabstitute lang natin yung V natin dito. No? Now, let us have the basis of our differential equations. So, kung hindi nyo napanood yung previous video natin, so medyo mahihirapan kayong intindihin to. But if you watch our previous video, yung part 1 and part 2 ng ating set B for this lecture, maintindihan na ninyo ito at mas madali nyo siyang makukuha dahil in-explain natin siya ng mas detalyado. No? So, the basis of our differential equation is that the rate of change of salt, okay, at ang unit natin is in kilogram per minute. Okay, so yung pagbabago ng ating salt in kilogram per minute is equal to the rate of inflow of salt. The rate of inflow of salt. Also in kilogram per minute minus the rate of outflow of salt in kilogram per minute. Okay? So, this will be the basis of our differential equation. So, that means the rate of change ng ating salt. So, that means our Q. So, the change of our Q with respect to time. Okay? And yung rate of inflow natin is given naman. No? Because wala namang pagbabago dito. Sabi sa atin, pumapasok siya in 3 liters per minute. With a concentration of salt in 0.25. So that means if you're going to multiply that, that will be the rate of inflow ng ating salt. So we have 3 liters per minute times 0 0.25 kilogram per liter. Then minus the rate of outflow. So hindi natin alam yung concentration dito. No? Dahil yan nga yung kailangan natin makuha, yung time at a given temperature. Uh, concentration. So, but we have our volumetric flow rate which is 2 liters per minute. So, we can multiply that. Our volumetric flow rate 2 times to our concentration. Okay, which is changing with time. Okay, so that means we have here dq over dt is equal to 3 times 0 0.25 which is 0 0.75 minus 2c. And if you remember, meron na tayong um, equation ng C rito. Our C is equal to Q over 200 plus T. Okay? So we're going to substitute that here. So we have dQ over dT is equal to 0 0.75 minus 2 times Q over 200 plus T. No? Sinubstitute natin yung C natin from here. Q over 200 plus T. Doon natin nakuha ito. Okay? Alright. So now I'm going to transpose itong term na to sa left side ng ating equation. So we will have usog natin ng konti para mas mahaba. DQ over DT. Okay? Plus 2 Q over 200 plus T. Okay? Is equal to 0 0.75. Okay, so anong manonotice natin dito? If I'm going to change the way it is um, written, okay, so let me remove this. Pagpalitin ko tong 2 and Q para mas madali ninyo ma-visualize, okay? So I'm going to put Q in outside our parentheses. So I'll put Q here and I'll put 2 in here. Pinagbaliktad ko lang sila, no? Now, what you can see is that we have here a linear equation of the first order, no? So, that means we can apply yung natutunan natin in our part 1 ng ating lecture video, no? In solving for linear differential equation. Okay, so, di ba, identify lang natin what is P and what is Q, okay? Yung Q natin dito will not be the salt, okay? But, it is our notation for our differential equation. So, our P in here is equal to 2 over 200 plus T. And our Q for our differential equation, K is equal to 0 0.75, yung nasa right side ng ating equation. Ano? 
Alright, so let us solve our linear differential equation. We will be using our equation for finding the integrating factor. No? So our integrating factor is equal to e to the integral of p dt. Okay, so alam natin yung p which is 2 over 200 plus t. We're just going to substitute that. So we have e to the integral of p which is 2 over 200 plus t dt. Okay. So, ano ba yung integral ng ating uh, 2 over 200 plus t dt? It will just be ln of 200 plus t. So, this will be equal to e um, 2 ln of the 200 plus t. Okay, but we can still simplify this. We can have this as e to the ln of 200 plus t squared. And of course, we can further simplify this having our integrating factor as 200 plus t squared. No? So, simplify lang natin yung ating equation using law of logarithm. Okay? Now, yung natutunan natin sa ating previous video using our integrating factor. Well, para hindi tayo malito no? kasi nasa itaas yung ating equation. Let me write this again. No? Para lang maging mas malinaw sa atin. So, we have dq over dt is equal to 2 over 200 plus t. Q is equal to 0 0.75. Diba? Yan yung ating equation. And then, nakuha na natin yung integrating factor natin. Now, to solve for the linear equation, okay, for the linear differential equation, itong ating integrating factor will be multiplied by Q. Okay? So, we have... 200 plus t squared times q is equal to the integral of our integrating factor which is 200 sorry this will be 200 plus t squared then multiplied to the right side no on yung nasa right side ng ating equation so 0 0.75 right so this will be uh, ilabas natin yung 0 0.75. What is the integral of 200 plus t? So, this will just be 200 plus t cubed. And this will be divided by 3. And of course, because this is indefinite integral calculus, so we will have plus k in here. So, normally, we are using plus c. Kaya lang para hindi tayo malito sa ating concentration that we will be using later on, we will be using K, no? So, this will be 200 plus T squared Q. Okay? So, isolate natin yung ating Q. So, that means we will be multiplying both sides ng equation by 200 plus T squared. So, may iwan sa left side will be Q. And then, we have 0 0.75 divided by 3 will be 0 0.25, diba? So, we have 0 0.25. And then, 200 plus t cubed divided by 200 plus t squared. So, may iwan na lang sa atin is 200 plus t. Then, plus our k divided by 200 plus t squared. Okay, so ito na yung ating equation. Now, we do not know the value of k. So, yan ang una natin kailangang makuha. But we know that at time is equal to 0, initially, okay, our salt Q is equal to 20 kg, di ba? So we know that this is equal to 20. Okay, so substitute natin yan dito sa ating equation. Q is equal to 20 at time is equal to 0. Is equal to 0 0.25 times 200 plus T which is equal to 0. So may iwan lang is T. Uh, 200, I mean, plus our k divided by 200 plus t, in which t is equal to 0, so this is 200 squared. Alright, so makukuha na natin yung value ng ating k. So, let us use our calculator para mas mapadali yung computation natin. We have 200, uh, 20 minus um, 0.25 times 200. So, we have minus 30 uh, multiplied by 200 squared. So we have uh, negative 
1.2 million, di ba? So, this is 1.2 million. So, our K is equal to negative 1.2 million or negative 1.2 times 10 to the 6. Okay, so substitute lang natin siya dito sa ating equation. Ito. So, we have our Q is equal to, again, no nga yun, 0.25 times 20 plus T. Okay, 0.25 times 200 plus T. Tama ba? Okay, 0.25 times 200 plus T plus K over 200 plus T squared. But our K is negative, so we have here negative 1.2 times 10 to the 6 over 200 plus t squared. Okay? So, yan yung equation natin na to. Pinalitan lang natin yung k dahil alam na natin yung value niya. Alright. So, ang kailangan natin makuha ngayon is kung ano daw yung time at a given concentration. No? Given sa atin yung concentration, which is uh, which is 0.15 kg per liter. So, kailangan natin mahanap what is the time kung saan magkakaroon tayo ng ganito karaming salt sa ating tank. Okay? So, time yung hinahanap natin dito. No? So, what we're going to do is to use yung equation kanina natin, which is our concentration, which is equal to Q over V, salt over the total volume. And we know that this is equal to Q over 200 plus T because our volume is equal to 200 plus T okay, to get the volume at any given time T. Now, alam na natin yung ating Q which is this one. okay. So, all we have to do is just substitute that dito sa ating um, equation dito. No? So, we have our C which is equal to our Q. Gamitin natin itong equation na nasa itaas. So, our Q is 0.25 times 200 plus T uh, minus 1.2 times 10 to the 6 over 200 plus T squared divided by our V. Okay, So our V is 200 plus T. Now, what we're going to do is to divide both terms no? kasi ang denominator natin is 200 plus T. So, we will have C is equal to 0 0.25 times 200 plus T divided by 200 plus T. So, my one is only 0 0.25. Then, dito, sa, dito naman sa ating next term, we have negative 1.2 times 10 to the 6 divided by 200 plus T squared. Then, we will divide that by 200 plus T. So, that means we will have 200 plus T cubed. Alright? Now, sabi sa atin, ang kailangan nating makuha, what is the time t? Okay? So, what is time if our c is equal to 0 0.15? Diba? Yan yung tanong sa atin. Let us go back. So, if our concentration of salt becomes 0 0.15 kilogram per liter. Okay? So, our c is 0 0.15 kilogram per liter. So, kapag sinubstitute natin itong value ng C dito, makukuha na natin yung time T. ba? So, that means, let us use that. Our C is equal to 0 0.15. This is equal to 0 0.25 minus 1.2 times 10 to the 6 over 200 plus T cube. Okay? So, Transpose na lang natin siya para maalis yung negative sign natin. Hindi tayo malito. 200 plus T cube is equal to 0 0.25 minus 0 0.15 which is equal to 0 0.10. ba? Now, again, we're going to isolate yung T kasi. So, we're going to transpose this to the right side. So, that means we will have 1.2 times 10 to the 6 over, ito, ito transpose natin sa left. So, we will have 0 0.10 and this will be equal to 200 plus T cube. Alright. So, 
1.2 times 10 to the 6 divided by 0 0.1. So we will have 1.2 times 10 to the 7th is equal to 200 plus T cubed. Alright. So now to get the value of T, we are going to take or we're going to take the cube root of the both side ng ating equation. Okay. So we're going to take cube root of this and the cube root of this. Okay, so let's use our calculator. So we have here 1.2. So let's take the cube root of that para diretso na. So cube root of 1.2 times, oh, I'm sorry, times 10 to the 7. So this is equal to 228.943. Okay. And this will be equal to the cube root of 200 plus t cube, which will be 200 plus t. Okay? Now, we are going to subtract both sides by 200. We will have t, which is equal to 28.943 minutes. Okay? Which will be our final answer for this question. So, ang sagot natin is 28.943, which is, ano nga ba siya sa ating choices? 28.943, so it is letter A sa ating mga choices. Alright, so I hope you learned a lot from this problem. And we will be solving more of general engineering problems sa mga susunod pa nating mga videos. So that's all for now guys. Thank you very much and have a nice day.